Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hot, hot day. So, it's Friday. It's probably nine o'clock. I have been awake since seven. But I've just been catching up on some YouTube videos. And decided to throw some clothes on. Tortoise, would you like to come over there? Looking like you need some help. There you go. So, you can tell Kenzie's home, look. I told him, I said, I've missed you dearly. But we know who makes the mess in this house. Right. So, laundry to sort. Laundry to sort, fold. Brendan's home today. He said he's going to paint the skirting board going up the stairs. So I've got painting stuff for him to do that. I need tea and I need to put cups in the dishwasher. First job. I hate it when this happens. So they take the laundry bin upstairs. This is all the folded clothes that I put in the laundry bin for them to take up and put away. Where is it? Under all the dirty clothes. Put your hat back on Now you're out there on your own Johnny boy You got a one-way ticket to ride Going south
country. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty good. Well, that was interesting and pretty useful. I've just had a phone call. I answered it <clears throat> and it was the uh, hospital's appointment reminder service, which is useful. Um, telling me, well, asking me to confirm that I would be attending the appointment for my carpal tunnel uh, tests at the hospital next Friday. If I'd had a letter about it, hmm. So thankfully I took all the details that they were giving me there. So I've got the time, I've got the date and I've got the department, but I don't have a letter about it. And thankfully it's on Friday, so I don't work. So um, I, I don't have to do any last minute cancelling of work or anything. So I've just confirmed I will be attending and it looks like I've got an appointment with neurology uh, next week for the whole pins and needles situation. That was useful and lucky. What are you up to? I got mods to load in after renaming some of the files. Oh. Basically, just to give you some context to the difficulty, it's... Well, it's not really difficult, but I have to go through all this. Right. Change this, this, uh, write a description if I care. And then, you'll be able to see what I've done. Uh, you can see this horse. This horse looks like pretty big, right? Big, big, chunky horse. Big, big, chunky horse. Now, hopefully, I get the best thing ever. Modding at its finest will always come down to someone strapping this character to anything in a game. Okay. Skyrim had it. Fallout 4 had it. And hopefully... Nothing's happening. What? What? You, what you, no. What's happened to your horse? It's, it's a nice horse. It's normal. Oh. Why is it normal? Brendan, yes. is that not modding at its finest? No, it's not. It's normal now. Brendan, what did you do? It done goofed. Was it an anticlimactic moment? Yes, very much so. Shall I come back when you fixed it? Uh, wait, where's the game mod? I'll come back when you fixed it. Why? I clicked it on. Why did it... Round two. It's a train! Joo Joo Thomas! I even named it Thomas. Why is your horse now Thomas Tank Engine? I've never heard Thomas make that noise in my life. No, I was. Yeah, it's, it's a horse, but it's Thomas. It moves like a horse in a bit. Yeah, it um, bounds. That, that's all it can really do. I've never seen Thomas bound. <laughs> this is just the best thing in modding. <laughs> I turned giant horse into Thomas using mods. I also turned the trees pink because I like pink trees because you know China has pink trees and we don't have enough pink trees yeah, can he that's... like rear up and go um, if I hit if I run into something oh well that's not nice poor train oh no uh, can he climb mountains uh, oh, he's a well, kind train. Of, I, I, there that was Wah. him jumping <laughs> that's so weird I love how you're sitting on the top hello there hi Thomas yeah. You've, you've really this, done something weird to your game. Yeah, this is the female version of Lincoln World. Zero. Ah, you put that down. That's good, because I was running out of points. Oof. I've got five points. In total. Our tea is subpar. We are not happy about our tea situation. No points for me. There you go. The milk is on the turn. We might have to go and get ourselves a hot chocolate while we go and buy more milk. As compensation. So, oh, you, you're doing very well at nearly making things. Well, like this, this, this. You need a zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. It's like binary. You're going around in a circle on your score sheet. Yeah. Like a spiral of scores. I've never seen anyone score like that before. Well, I couldn't be bothered to do it like this and it kind of slip this way so I started just carrying on the spiral. <laughs> Keep going in the spiral. Mine is four. Which makes it... Yeah, six. Six to nine, dudes. Six. Bill and ten. What number am I thinking of? Six to nine, dudes. <gasps> Wait a 
minute, I need to work out this. Oh. Um, six, four, that's ten. Yeah. I'm a bit simple. <laughs> know your number bonds. What? Number bonds, how to make ten out of numbers. Yes, Look, I, I forgot this that. was so close, but they're the wrong way round. Ha! Huh. Funny. Not funny. Ha! Huh. Eight, nine, twelve, eighty... Three. Three. Oh, I beat by one point. You happy now? I don't mind. I'm happy we play. Shall we go get a hot chocolate and some decent milk? Okay. And maybe something yummy. I mean, hot chocolate too. And then can we play it? Okay. I love you. Thanks for playing. Magnemeter. Oh, they haven't got any magnemeter types. Maybe a rocky chalky or whatever they are. What do you think? What do you fancy? Oh or do we take home ice cream and have a bowl of ice cream? What do you want to do? Choices, choices. We chose ice cream. Ice cream for lunch, Brendan. It's lunchtime. This is officially our lunch. Marvellous. Ice cream for lunch. Excellent. Thought you wouldn't get it. Recorded. For historic purposes, I have just completed a hexagon. My first hexagon. At this point in the game, with this like spaceship looking thing, I've got 73 points! My boy is prepping his work zone. I think I'll do the carpet cleaning tomorrow so I don't get in the way of your wet paint. So you've got to mask it, then you're sanding it, hoovering up the mess, wiping and painting, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. And how much am I paying you? I think it, 10, it? I think it was 15, actually. 15 was for the conservatory. Yeah, but I think it was 15 for painting as well. There was a tenner, but I got only 15, huh? Yeah. 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 As long as you do a good job. And if you do a good job, you're going all the way up to here, yeah? Do you want me to do that board? Yeah, here? that board as well. Um, if you do a good job, I've got more painting jobs like the kitchen and stuff over the summer. Oh, okay? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> you're hilarious. I'm going to have a mid afternoon cool bath with a cup of tea. I'm going to do my hair because I am going out for dinner with my bestest friend Anna and Lee Anna, and Anna's husband Simon. Not just me and Anna. We're taking our men with us. How's it going? It's looking very white. It's all white, isn't it? Is it all white? Yes, geezer. It's all white. What are you talking about? It's all white, isn't it? Are you going to see now? No, it's a joke on words. It's all right. It's all white because it's white paint. It's all white, isn't it? I'll take that as confirmation you are going to see now. Oh, oh, so totally God. wasted on you. Have you just put... Turn and look at me. Did you Did you just put your head in the can of what? paint? Oh, let me see. Turn around. No, you're not going great. It's okay. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Oh. Look, it looks so white. It does look so white. It's nice and shiny. Did you take it round by the door? No, because okay. that bit has been done by me before. Alright, okay. It might be worth doing it because the, the sight of line of sight kind of would take it that way. What? Because it's not going to be as white as the rest of it. So just. Take it slightly you around there. Yeah. Yes, I will start. Right. I will start wigging out, <laughs> as you so eloquently put it. Just be standing here going. Is that the official term? Is it? <laughs> wigging out. <laughs> right. No, you've done a great job. Grand job, chap. High five. Thanks. Don't leave your mother hanging. <laughs> Don't break your neck on the slippy yeah. bit. Don't fall on the paint. I What's your brother doing? 
Uh, oh, I know who played there. Uh, playing Fortnite. Should have known. That keeps him downstairs. Back to his routine. Hi, boy! Hello. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. I missed you! Yeah, whatever. I'm currently being a lazy moose. I've put my PJs on. I've had a nice cold bath. So I'm, I've done my hair, so I'm all ready to go out. Well, I'm not ready to go out because I have to obviously get dressed. But, you know, for now. I am about three quarters of the way through this book. No, no, two thirds of the, no, a third. Get your fractions right, woman. Good Lord. A third of the way through this book. Maybe slightly, no, about a third. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm I'm not entirely sure I'd go to say it's one of my favourites. Uh, but so far, it's keeping me interested. It's different. There's two aspects to it. One sort of from us seeing the circus and the other is the story behind the circus. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'll give you a proper rating when I've finished. Hello, hello. Right, I'm going to end this here because we are going out for dinner with friends. I'm just so spotty though. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go out for dinner with friends. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get my sandals on, get myself ready and uh, be good to go. Good to go. It's a lovely evening. We are going to a local pub for dinner. So it's a nice evening. Hopefully we can sit outside and have a nice catch up. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.